Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a free and open source software called UVR5 so you can separate vocals and instruments from any song with pretty good results. I've previously covered how to do this in Audacity in another video, but uh, that method can be hit or miss depending on the song you are doing. And this time I'm going to use two different songs that sound pretty different so you can see uh, how it deals with different types of instruments and voices. With all that said, let's get started. Alright, to download the program, uh, you're gonna go here to this link, I put the link in the description. And I know here it says main download link, that, don't click on that one, that's not the that's not the latest version. And if you have a, an AMD or newer NVIDIA card, it's not gonna work. So I would recommend you to instead uh, scroll down and then uh, download this one right here. I already have it, so I'm gonna... Just go here and open the installer. And this is a pretty simple installation, so just uh, click accept, next, next. Uh, I will uh, create a shortcut and then next and install. If you open and you get one of these warnings, then uh, just click here and then click on run anyways. This typically happens with uh, open source software like this, so don't worry about it, it's, uh, it's completely safe. Well, that, that took a little bit longer than I expected. So let's uh, keep this checked and click on finish. And uh, here in select input, you can just either click there and open the file or you can just uh, drag the, the song on top of it and it's going to load it. And the same with this. Uh, you can click on here and select where you want to save it. Here, I would recommend you to use WAV or FLAC because that's the highest quality. You can use empty tree too but that's gonna give you like a lower quality here is the the process method that you're gonna use i i have found that this is the best one but i mean if you if you want you can try the other ones but that's the one i have found this is the best and these two are very important this i would just put it normally at 2048 and this, basically this the higher it is the faster it's gonna run and the more consistent it's gonna be but it also after this point it's not gonna be any noticeable difference so it's not even worth it to keep going up and also this is gonna depend on the memory your GPU has so if maybe your GPU cannot handle this so just try this first and if you get an error or uh, gets really really slow then you try uh, putting in a lower number then keep lowering and lowering until you get to a point where you don't get that problem because the higher it is the, the better quality you're gonna get and in overlap here 0 0.99 is gonna give you the best quality but it's also gonna take longer so if you wanna generate something that is uh, a little bit worse but much faster then you can put 0 0.75 but I would recommend you to to use this if you want the best quality and make sure you have GPU conversion selected because uh, if you don't, it's going to use your CPU and that's going to be way slower. And here, uh, you're going to select the, the model you're going to use. Uh, you can normally install more models here if you want and try them out. But I have found that this one uh, that already comes with it uh, pretty much does the, the best job of all the ones that I have tested. And after you select that, you can see here that you get the option to just save the instrumentals, just save the vocals, or what I'm gonna do, which is not select either of those, so it save both. And here you have the option to save um, only the first 30 seconds of the song. So if you want to test out different uh, different models and and do it faster, you don't have to process the whole audio or the whole song. I'm just gonna leave it on check because I'm gonna do it for the whole song and here you can save the current settings so uh, test let's just call it test so you can just load it from here whenever you you open the program so you don't have to change the settings every single time 
and obviously you just click on start processing when you want to start and that is gonna take a long time depending on your computer in mine it usually takes only like three minutes but it might take a lot longer in yours or less I don't know, depends on, on your hardware and while that is uh, processing let me show you how the song I'm processing is supposed to sound like before before the processing Sab a soul in the matrix code dripping with venom algorithms plot twists every move they defend them upload wars click wars the game's a gladiator smash the like hit subscribe the numbers feed the trade the keyboard samurai slashing through the chatter every pixel weaponized opinion shatter I'm the glitch in the system the rebel the cause pause nah hit that bell before the message lost click that button the power's in your hands hey, click that button take a stand take a stand hey, click that button Alright, that's uh, enough, so going at 28, 20, 29, so uh, I'm gonna leave it here and I'll come back when it finishes. A few minutes later. Alright, so that wasn't too bad, it took about uh, 3 minutes and a half, so let's uh, put it in Audacity to compare it. So as you can see, it generated two, uh, one with instrumental on the title and this one with vocal. So let's drag both of them to, um, to Audacity. And let me mute the original and let me solo first the instrumental. Let me, let me jump into uh, the part where it starts, uh, where it's supposed to be singing. And as you can see, they did a pretty good job of separating that. Now let's see how the vocals came out. Sab a soul in the matrix code dripping with venom. Algorithms plot twists every move they defend them. Upload wars, click wars. The game's a gladiator. Smash the like, hit subscribe. The numbers feed the trade. The keyboard samurai slashing through the chatter. Every pixel weaponized. Opinion shatter. I'm the glitch in the system. The rebel, the cause. Pause. Nah, hit that bell before the message lost. Click that button. Power's in your hand. Hey, click that button. Take a stand, take a stand. Hey. And uh, this one did pretty good, but I have seen better results, honestly. It depends on the song, and uh, also this is an AI-generated song with uh, Suno AI, so it's gonna have a little bit of uh, weirdness that the separation is gonna have trouble with. It's, it's usually a lot better with uh, real human voice and real uh, music. So, um, as I said at the beginning, I'm gonna show you also how it does with a different genre. So I'm gonna try rock now. Because uh, this one is probably gonna be more difficult, it has more effects and uh, more stuff in it. And uh, while well, that's processing, let's also, let me also show you how it's supposed to sound like. I may put it in the, the voice part. Alright, 
so I'm gonna leave this one in uh, processing as well and let's see how it turns out uh, I'm assuming it's gonna be a little bit worse than the other one because uh, it's more difficult but let's see a few moments later all right this one took a little bit longer uh, probably because the audio is longer and again it, it left the uh, the instrumental on the vocal so let's drag that to audacity let's mute the original and let's solo out let's solo out the the, the audio first Here's, uh, here's what the guy is supposed to be singing. said that that's pretty good uh, so let's do now the voice and before even playing it I can see here let me zoom in I can see that there's some artifacts here where it, uh, he starts singing here so here all this is uh, probably garbage let me play to see Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of uh, glitchiness and a little bit of residue from the song that happens sometimes, especially with uh, when you have heavier instruments like this. But uh, fortunately, that usually only happens in the silent parts where the voice is not being uh, uh, heard. So what you can do is just select all this and then just go to generate and silence just to get rid of this. And now let's play the, the voice. Click me once, a flashing light in the void where days ignite a hollow scream or a broken kite. Your fingers hover, do you care? A digital ghost, a pixel prayer. And uh, as I said before, this is an AI song too, so the, the voice is gonna sound a little bit weird, but. Uh, with uh, real humans, this is gonna sound a lot clearer and better. And that was it. So if you found the video helpful, then don't forget to subscribe and leave me a like. And I'll see you in the next video.